Hello, welcome to another video walk around. My name is Christian. Today we're going to be looking at the new Toyota Highlander Limited. This is a seven passenger all wheel drive SUV in shoreline blue and under the hood you'll find a 3.5 liter V6 driving on 19 inch wheels. Some of the great exterior features includes a camera in the front. We've got two cameras under the side mirrors and one camera in the back. That provides you with that 360 camera view which we will see more inside. Other great features includes parking sensors on the front and rear bumper, a proximity smart key system, and a power lift gate. Helping us inside is our key fob here. It's got our lock and unlock button as well as our power lift gate button, which we will get to in just a moment. Like I mentioned, this Highlander does have a proximity smart key system, so if you have your key fob in your pocket, we can press these two lines on the door handle to lock the vehicle. And to unlock it, it's as easy as putting our hand inside the door handle there. You can see on the side view mirror, you do have a blind spot monitoring system in the corner there and heated mirrors. Right up top, next to the handle, you have your memory seating presets, and right below that, you have your power windows, locks, and power adjustable side mirrors. On the bottom, we have a little bit of storage space. If we take a look next to the door, you have a few convenient features like your park assist, power lift gate, and your heated steering wheel for those cold winter months. You can also open this piece up, get a nice little storage compartment. This Highlander comes equipped with black leather seating, and on the bottom, you have your power seating adjustment buttons. If we take a look at the top, you get this huge panoramic moonroof. This Highlander is a push to start, so we're gonna push the brake in and press that engine start button right behind the steering wheel there. As always, we're gonna take a look at the steering wheel features first. Now on the left side, you have your audio controls as well as your hands-free calling and your voice recognition system. On the right side, you have this cluster up top. This allows you to cycle through your multi-information display. Lastly, on the bottom here, you have your Toyota Safety Sense buttons with lane departure alert and dynamic radar cruise control. You have your cruise control speed settings right behind the steering wheel there. Moving on to our home screen, right now we are on the home screen. On the left side, it'll display any audio that's playing and any device that's connected. On the right side, you have your navigation map. It is a touch screen, so you can press any one of these. In this case, we went into the map and you can set your destination here. Now, if we go into audio, you have your standard AM and FM options, as well as choices between CD, USB, auxiliary, and of course, like I mentioned, Bluetooth. Going into reverse, there's that backup camera on the left side. You got that direct view from behind. On the right side, you have that 360 bird's eye view. Moving down below is our climate control system. It is a dual zone, so the temperatures can be adjusted on both sides. And you have temperature buttons right on the bottom here to control the temperature in the back. Down below, you have a little shelf that runs all the way to the driver's side door. We have this little piece here that we can lift up and you can run cables through there. And that'll come right under here. And this is where you have your USB and auxiliary. You also have your 12 outlet and your different drive modes. And lastly, if we take a look behind the shifter, you will find your driver and passenger heated and ventilated seats. Inside the back here, you can see we have a little bit of storage on the bottom, just like the driver's side door. Of course, we are continuing with the black leather seating. If we move closer behind the front passenger and driver's seats, we have these little extra storage compartments. And of course, behind the center console, the rear passengers have their own climate control system as well as their own heated seats. We can fold these seats down. We've got a little handle here. Just give that a pull. And we can slide those forward, giving you access to your third row seating. Like I mentioned, this Highlander does have a power lift gate. So all we got to do is hold that third button on our key fob. And that lift gate will open up nice and easy. If you take a look inside, you can see even with the third row seating, you still have plenty of storage space in the back. We can't put those seats down. All we got to do is pull on these little handles. That seat's go folding flat, giving you even extra space. Like I mentioned, the second row seating does fold as well. That'll give you that extra bit of room. And we can also lift this bottom piece up. And this is where you'll find your tools to change your spare tire. You got a little extra storage on the left side there. To close up, we got a convenient button on the top left corner. We're just gonna press that and that power lift gate will close on its own. Taking a last look at our Toyota Highlander, once again, some of those great interior features include your driver and passenger heated and ventilated seats, as well as heated rear seats, a power moonroof, and navigation. There's still a lot more I didn't get a chance to show you so much. Come on down and take a for a test drive. We're located here, Toyota Northwest Edmonton, on the corner of 137th Avenue and Ever Trail. Thank you for watching this video. Walk around. My name is Christian, and as always, drive safe.